Keeping your company organized starts with giving the right people the right access. Today we'll show you how to set up admins and assign roles on remote. Effective admin management keeps workflows running smoothly. Adding people, managers and direct reports means requests like time off or expenses go to the right person. With custom roles, you can set permissions to match specific needs, balancing accountability and flexibility. Let's dive in and see how it all works. It's important to understand the difference between company admins and user roles on remote. These two terms are often used together, but they serve different purposes. A company admin has broad access to manage your company's operations on remote, handling key tasks like payroll approvals, viewing employee information and managing time of requests for the organization. Essentially, they help keep the ship running smoothly. User roles, on the other hand, let you customize individual access within the platform. While admins have wider control, roles help you specify what each user can access or manage. For instance, an HR manager role might allow someone to approve time off requests without accessing financial data. In short, company admins have broader oversight, while roles control specific user permissions based on responsibilities. Now, let's see how to set up both admins and roles on the platform. To get started, go to the company settings tab in your remote dashboard, then find admins and permissions. You'll see two options here, company admins and user roles and permissions. First, in company admins, you can view current admin users or add a new one by clicking add new. Just fill in the details or search for their name if they are already an employee. After sending the invite, they'll get an email with login instructions and can switch easily between their employee and admin profiles. Now, back in user roles and permissions, you'll find some predefined roles. You can edit permissions for a custom role or add someone to it or any role by clicking manage people. If you need a new role, click add new role. Name and describe the role, then choose what they can see and whether they have view or edit permissions. For example, decide if they can onboard new hires or manage expenses. Once done, click save role or you can immediately add users to it. And there you have it. With the right permissions in place, you'll ensure tasks are handled by the right team members, keeping workflows smooth and secure. If you have any questions or feedback, let us know in the comments section below and thank you so much for watching.